Hello and welcome, Professor Fun. You are a member of the international jury here at the 45th Tampere Film Festival. How did you become a member of the jury? I'm very honored to be an international jury member at Tampere Film Festival because I've been a film critic in China and I have also been a jury member of China's International Animation Festival and Zhejiang Provincial Youth Film Festival, for instance. That's why I'm very delighted to be invited to be an international jury member here. When I will be judging films at Tampere Film Festival, I will be looking at whether there are any breakthroughs in terms of audiovisual language. More importantly, I will be looking at whether the film embodies care and understanding for human life, the type of care and understanding for human life which can move the jury and audience. The, the cinema program um, presented by GB Times will show Chinese short films, animation, documentaries. Why do you think it's important for China to promote these types of films? First of all, there are many amateur filmmakers in China doing short films, and every year tens of thousands of short films are being made in China. And the second reason is that over the last 10 years, the Chinese government has put a lot of emphasis on animation films, and so we have some very good animation films. What more could China's, uh, the Chinese government do to help amateur filmmakers? From three perspectives, the first is that the Chinese government sometimes will waive the tax. The second is that we have some programs to help the filmmakers. And third is that we will nominate some good films to international competitions or international festivals, just like the Tampere Film Festival. I think the Chinese film market will be the largest in the world in 10 to 20 years. The Chinese box office has grown by 30% every year, and last year it was worth 29 billion Chinese yuan, which is a very large number. So I think in the future the Chinese market will be more and more prospective, and I'm very optimistic about it. How, um, how can companies like Mega Media mm -hmm. and GB Times help the Chinese market reach an international audience? GB Times and Mega Media have done a lot of contribution to the work. I think there are two major problems for Chinese films going into the international film market. The first one is the language, because I think the Chinese language is one of the most complicated and difficult languages in the world. The second is that there are not so many people in China with experience about international film trading. But I think because Mega Media and GB Times have a lot of international channels, that's very good for Chinese films going to the international film market. Because a lot of talented people gather together here and people can learn from each other and together promote the film. So it's very important for us to support events like the Tampere Film Festival.